in the next two weeks you're gonna see how I will do as many should I say as many push-ups as possible or like 1,000 push-ups a day I think 1,000 push-ups a day sounds better you're gonna see how I will do as many push-ups as possible and to make it more enjoyable for you I'm going to do it in Iceland nope before I start this challenge, let's check out how many push-ups I can do in a row right now to have a before and after comparison. So right now I can do like 43 push-ups. What do you think? How many push-ups I will do in these two weeks and how many push-ups I will be able to do after the challenge? Write your guess down in the comments. But first things first, let's get a car here. To survive the next few days, we need some food as well. But what did it cost us? Everything. Anyway, let's move on. The first night we are spending here. That's the first day here. A hot spring, getting seasick and 500 push-ups. Let's summarize the first week here. Waterfalls, mountains, hot springs, Icelandic horses, waterfalls, sunsets, moonlight landscapes, northern lights, waterfalls. I think you got it. And that, guys, is how we eat in Iceland. And the weather here in Iceland is, as expected, very mixed. Often windy, sometimes a little rain, but there's a saying in Iceland. If you don't like the weather, just wait 15 minutes. And if you like it, well... If you are planning to go to Iceland, don't forget your warm clothes. Let's take a look at the progress of the challenge. As already mentioned, I did 500 push-ups in the first day. The second day was 200, the third day was 400, then 700, 850, 250 and 400. So the total is 3,300 push-ups. And that's not even close to the number I had in mind. That's way harder than I thought it would be. I just realized that the real challenge is not the push-ups themselves. It's way harder not to forget to do them. I try to use every given situation to do push-ups, but it's not that easy. First, we are sitting in the car like three hours a day. That sign can't stop me because I can't read. Second, there are so many hikes and sightseeing tours that make it easy to forget the challenge at all. Anyway, in the second week I have to try harder. And because of that I have to change my strategy. We are playing cards and the rules are if I lose I have to do 10 push-ups and if she loses she has to do 3 push-ups. But because I'm on a challenge right now I have to join her doing the push-ups even if I win. And well that helps a lot. Yesterday I did 800 push-ups while playing cards in the evening. The next day. Luckily, we found a gym in the next hotel. Let's go hit a chest workout. If you have ever wondered what these machines are for. Quick science lesson. A group of scientists wanted to see if doing push-ups could predict the chances of firefighters having heart problems in the future. They got a bunch of firemen to do push-ups and then followed them for 10 years to see if they had any heart issues. Turns out, the guys who could do more than 40 push-ups had a 96% lower chance of having heart problems compared to those who could only do 10 or fewer push-ups. However, don't let studies fool you. The scientists only considered male firefighters. And it seems like the outcome of the study is if you would only do more push-ups, your heart will be fine. But it's not. What if a higher amount of push-ups is just a side effect of your overall physical activity, your diet and genetics, and having a healthy heart is just another side effect? That makes the push-ups a correlation to the condition of your heart, not a direct cause of having a healthy heart. However, I think that doing push-ups can still benefit your health and improve your physical activity. But now I'm curious, how many push-ups can the people here in Iceland do? How many push-ups can you do in a row? Ten. Maybe eight? Start? Yeah. Yeah. Eight. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more.
I say 40. I say one time 40. 10. Oh, the germs are <laughs> You make On it look like <laughs> According to the study, the people I met here are unlikely to suffer from any heart problems. At least, that's what I wish for them. One week later. It's the last day of the vacation and I have done push-ups. And I don't have a lot of time to finish my goal. We have to get back to the airport, check in and wait for the flight. Oh man, we are at the airport and we have only one hour left to do 300 push-ups. You have, not me. In the background you can see how the people are already going into the plane. And a few minutes before the gate closed, I finally finished my goal. All in all, I did 10,000 push-ups in Iceland. It's been already one week since we arrived in Germany. And my shoulders had enough time to recover from the pain. So let's see how many push-ups I can do right now in a row after the challenge. Interesting, 43 again. Unfortunately, I didn't improve, but I think it's because most of the time I did 5, 10, 20 push-ups in a row and to max out that number I have to go to the limit every single time. And guess what else didn't improve? See you! Ah.